It is a difficult journey. The final destination still not clear. Thousands of migrant children have arrived in the U.S., many unaccompanied. And emergency intake sites are becoming overwhelmed with the growing numbers. Stephen Cabasos details the heartbreaking and harrowing steps these children are taking. Gut-wrenching moments from the U.S.-Mexico border. The boy as young as 10, afraid, abandoned, and alone. A Border Patrol agent found him wandering in this rural field. The boy seen here asking for help. He tells the agent he came without his parents, but he traveled with a migrant group that left him behind. He was taken here to a nearby child detention center in Donna. This video shows the crowded facility, which is sheltering thousands of children who are now under the care of the federal government. Here at home, hundreds more unaccompanied minors were bussed over to Freeman Coliseum's Expo Center in just one week. Federal and county officials now report 1,370 children are being cared for at the facility. Congressman Henry Cuellar was in Windcrest today and talked about the ongoing situation and the challenges intake facilities are facing. Too many people coming in, not enough people going out. The congressman adding. Right now we're facing a humanitarian crisis and I do use the word crisis. Now, the congressman was expected to tour the Expo Center along with Congressman Tony Gonzalez today, but due to a scheduling conflict that has been postponed until a later date.